Hello and welcome all. So today I am going to continue with the part six of the beginners learning blazer. And today we'll be taking a topic of component base class specification. So what a component base class needs to be specified when a blazer component is created, it should inherit from component base class. Now there are two reasons for this. The first reason is that it implements I component interface which Blazor uses to locate components throughout the project and because in Blazor in Blazor framework it is not dependent upon the a folder structure so the I component interface implementation comes useful and secondly the component base contains important lifecycle methods which will be now taken in another tutorial those import today's topic is something else so we'll switch over to the visual studio so i have switched over to visual studio now in this ongoing project get started blazer i will first add a class you know a model class which is which i will say adds um, It will be a base class which is derived from the component base class and I will call this cool blazer base. So let's get going. So right click on the project and click on add and I can add it on the root level of the project and I can also put it on the pages or any other folder for that matter. So I will name this cool blazer base. So cool blazer base it's created for me and with the namespace of get started blazer okay so what this cool base uh, cool blazer base does it first thing as i just told you in the beginning it derived from a component base class so component base class okay so it's giving me a fixation there is a problem and it is if you click on show potential fixes it will ask me to allow another using statement which is microsoft.aspnetcore.components all right so now everything is fine now i will create a public property of string type so prop tab tab and make it as a string and call this cool blazer text get set and i will set it initially initially assign it to a string say blazer is cool blazer is cool okay and then i could have ended at that itself to demonstrate you the application of the class from which a razor component is derived but you know let me add another method to further demonstrate to you now it takes two parameters of integer type int a and int b okay and all that it does is to return the sum of these two numbers return a plus b right and then let me come back to the um, this one the i will now have to create now right click i'll have to create that razor component which is derived from this cool blazer base so, so now i will create a cool blazer component so click on um pages and click on add and then new item so on this new item this is a razor component and i'll name this cool blazer
so this is a razor component okay cool blazer dot razor so all i will do here is i will just give it a at page directive so at page and with little double quotes i will root it to cool blazer that is a this at page directive at the top routes it to um, this base uri or base url front slash cool blazer so now if in the code section i will just get rid of this code section now and instead i will now the gist of this lecture is to show you how you can derive from this cool blazer base on this component how this component derives so it inherits inherits is the keyword at inherits now this is let's see what is available over here i will need to browse to this so this is get started blazer it has to be now called by this class needs to be called by the fully qualified uh, name which is the namespace dot the class name so get started blazer get started blazer dot you can see cool blazer base okay now i will create an h1 tag header tag and within this head, header tag i will write this in this base class i have created this cool blazer text now i wish to call this so at the rate cool blazer text see it, it is already exposed here on the child class or derived class and within another header h2 all i will do is to call this test method which is here okay on the child on the derived component the result of calling test method is at the rate now if i write t it should show me the test method on the intelligence and it is expecting two arguments okay two integer arguments so let me put any two arguments of integer type and that's it let's run this application so you can see i have run the application with control f5 and now browse to localhost colon port slash front slash cool blazer and blazer is cool and the result of calling the test method is 57 so isn't that cool so i have been able to demonstrate to you the fact that you know one razor component can be derived from a class you know c sharp class and we have already seen that the component can inherit a base class and cool blazer base is there to provide its properties and methods to the cool blazer dot razor component so this is the code actually so in the top again it page directive indicates that it should be navigated to the root front slash cool blazer and it inherits the cool blazer base which is this class which has got a public property cool blazer text blazer is cool and it has got a public method of which returns an integer and accepts two arguments and returns the sum so that's all if you have liked this tutorial please put your comments and likes and subscribe and share this channel to your friends thank you